Well, Sound native Kylie Moss added three more Canadian records and three more U Sports gold medals to her resume this past weekend at the 2017 Swimming National Championships in Sherbrooke, Quebec. The third year Toronto Varsity Blue took home the gold in the 50, 100, and 200 meter backstroke and took home five other medals to help the Varsity Blues earn third place in the U Sports team standings. The University of Windsor hosted a pair of OUA playoff basketball games on Coach Co TV this past week and had some split results in the process. The University of Windsor men's program ended their season with a loss to the McMaster Marauders 71 to 63. This is the first time since 2011-2012 that the men have finished outside of the OUA Final Four. The University of Windsor women punched their ticket to the OUA Final Four for the 10th straight season thanks to a decisive victory over the Ryerson Rams on Saturday afternoon at the St. Dennis Centre. The Windsor women will face the Queen's Gales in the, in the OUA semi-final on Friday evening at Queen's. That game will be at 6 p.m. and can be viewed live on OUA.tv. Two Lancers who won gold at the OUA track meet in Toronto this past weekend are joining me in studio today to tell us about their golden achievements. Eli Paul, you and Chris Wog. Thank you very much, gentlemen. No problem. Thanks Congratulations for once again. Uh, what is it like? We just saw a little bit of the highlights of the, the OUA track and field meet. What is it like seeing those highlights and just putting yourself in that moment and your golden achievement? It really makes you realize that the next time a big meet comes up, you really have to take a second to enjoy it all. But uh, no, it was a terrific experience. I was really happy with how I competed and uh, overall it was just a great uh, atmosphere with the team. Mm -hmm. Eli, you were the gold medalist in the shot put. Congratulations, Chris. Yes. Gold medalist in the, in the men's pole vault. Yep. You reached 5.11 meters, 5'11". Yep. It, it, it feels very good. Um, yeah, seeing the jump, I've, I've probably watched it 50 times since, since it's happened. Um, anytime I do watch them, I try and, uh, you know, even though the bar stays up, I always try and find things that I can, I can analyze and, and do better. But um, yeah, breaking that five meter barrier is, is definitely something people work towards, you know, for a long time and it's, it's, no, it's no easy feat. Also, A Boys Basketball is in town, hosted by EJ Lajeunesse, and here to tell us a little bit about that is Tom Cuvion and head coach Jeff Parent. Gentlemen, thank you. Welcome to that sports show. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. Obviously, an exciting time for the program. The uh, office is coming to town. 20 teams, a uh, whole lot of good basketball is going to be in Windsor March 6th to the 8th. What do you think, Coach? Yeah, absolutely. We're looking forward to it. You know, we've been looking forward to it really uh, for a couple of years now, knowing that we're hosting it this year. And so we've been getting ready for it and uh, we're getting excited. You know, we're getting excited and, you know, it's a week away. So it's, it's pretty exciting. You have two different groups coming in. You have the teams that are very, very competitive, such as Lajeunesse and Jeff's worked hard with these guys over a few years, and, and they've prepared throughout the season, and they're very competitive teams. You have some people who will be the very first time attending OFSA, mm -hmm. first time in Southern Ontario. So it's sort of a, there, it's really a different uh, breed between the different groups, but it does, it makes it for a great event. Home Bar and Grill at Wyandotte and Crawford goes to Mike Christo of the Windsor Lancers men's hockey team, who scored the game-winning goal in game two of their best of three series against the Ryerson Rams. The win gave the Lancers a 2-0 series sweep and pits them against the York Lions in the OUA West Final this week. 